Så, och nu går jag över till engelska. And I am very pleased to invite our next speaker, Marit Hinnosar, assistant professor at the University of Nottingham. You will give us some insights in your very intriguing research. And this one includes a randomized field experiment on Wikipedia pages. Welcome, Marit. The floor is yours. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, can you hear me all right? Yes. Perfect. Uh, so uh, hello, everyone, and uh, thank you very much for the uh, invitation to uh, speak here today about our research. I have uh, prepared some slides, so I will try to uh, share those. Yes, OK. Uh, so this is uh, uh, this is a joint uh, research project that we did uh, with um, uh, with uh, the co-authors uh, Thomas Hinesar from the University of Nottingham, Michael Kummer uh, from University of East Anglia, and Olga Slivko from Rotterdam School of Management. And um, uh, this was done already uh, a few years ago now. Uh, it is now a published uh, paper in the Journal of Economics uh, and Management uh, Strategy. Uh, so what we did in this uh, research project, we asked the question, what is the impact of online information on real world economic outcomes? And the online information, uh, we mean uh, Wikipedia here in this project. So, uh, and what we measure uh, the impact on is the impact of impact on consumption uh, in tourism. So specifically what we did, we ran a randomized field experiment. We uh, did a treatment on Wikipedia. So specifically what we did was we added about two paragraphs of relevant text and a photo to randomly chosen pages of cities in randomly chosen language editions of Wikipedia. And we measured the outcome of that treatment on the overnight hotel stays in these cities um, of those uh, pages that uh, uh, we uh, treated or that were in the control group. And, um, um, from the tourists by those um, from those countries that speak the languages uh, that were then treated, and what we found was that uh, the treatment increased the hotel stays by about nine percent. So let me talk about that in more detail. But first, what was the motivation for our study? The motivation was that in many countries many people don't speak any foreign languages. So here on this figure, uh, on the x-axis, on this horizontal axis, you see the percentage of population that does not speak any foreign language. And it means that for those people, uh, English Wikipedia is not enough. So they need the local language edition of Wikipedia if they want to access Wikipedia. So uh, for them, it is not enough that in some language there is a lot of information available uh, in, um, in Wikipedia, it has to be in their own language. And we see that, of course, there is a lot of variation. For example, on this figure, we see that in Sweden, uh, only a small percentage of people does not speak any foreign language. But then um, there are other countries, for example, Italy here, and uh, also France and Germany, where a large percentage of people does not speak any foreign language, and they would like to access the information in the local language Wikipedia. So that was our starting point. And so what we did was the following. We, um, in our treatment, we added text and photos to the Wikipedia pages of Spanish cities in different language editions of Wikipedia. So where, do the, where do we, did we get that information? Well, we translated that information from Spanish Wikipedia. So these were cities in Spain. 
and naturally the uh, the page uh, of that city in uh, Spanish Wikipedia is really extensive compared to all other languages. So on this figure on the, um, the right hand side, that is an example of one city. And you see in this example, but that was pretty general, is that this um, length of this page of the, uh, in Spanish Wikipedia is really long much longer than in any other language Wikipedia. So English is several times longer than the, uh, so, sorry, shorter than the Spanish Wikipedia and all other languages are even shorter. It means that we had a lot of information that we could take from the Spanish Wikipedia and translate that to the other languages. So we didn't take any random information, we took the information that we thought is interesting for tourists. So it was information about main sites in the city and culture. And then we randomized across the city language pairs. So, and the outcome that we measured was the monthly hotel data by city and the country of origin. In Europe uh, the um, and in Spain, the uh, hotels, uh, when you check into a hotel, they re will record uh, from which country you are coming from. So therefore, the statistical office in Spain has the information um, from which country are the tourists coming from. And uh, so our main data sources were then the Wikipedia, of course, I'm not going to tell you more about that. But then the tourism data from the Spanish National Institute of St Statistics. And this was the overnight hotel stays in Spanish uh, cities by the country of origin. And we focused on four countries of origin. So it was Germany, France, Italy and Netherlands. And that correspondingly meant that we were interested in the German Wikipedia, in French Wikipedia, Italian Wikipedia, and the uh, Dutch Wikipedia. So these were the um, Wikipedia's editions that uh, we added information to. And um, so which were the cities that uh, we uh, treated? Um, we treated the cities uh, that satisfied two criteria. So first of all, that the data is available uh, on the hotel space. Only for large enough uh, cities was the data available. So that criterion uh, excluded small cities. And we also wanted that the Wikipedia page is relatively short, so that there is still, mm, still room for us to add something. And therefore, that criterion, it excluded the large cities. So altogether, only 60 cities satisfied uh, both, of these, uh, both of these uh, two criteria. And um, so our, our experimental design was the following. We had these 60 cities and the four languages, uh, German, Dutch, uh, Italian, and French. Uh, and what we did was that for each city, we treated that in two randomly chosen languages. So treated means that we added text and a photo. And in each language, we treated 30 randomly chosen cities. So that means that um, each city and each language was in some sense treated equally. So each language got uh, the uh, half of the cities treated and each city got treated in half of the languages. So that was one of our goals that uh, if we do something uh, that at least we are trying to be uh, e equal, uh, if hopefully that is a positive benefit of uh, our additional information, then this benefit is kind of distributed equally. And um, so here is an example just uh, simply of, of what we did. So uh, on the left, that is uh, the uh, page uh, in Spanish. And we took that information, translated that to a corresponding language, and then put that information to two, uh, two um, 
randomly chosen language editions of Wikipedia, and the other two we left untreated. So um, let's look for a moment, uh, how did our addition, uh, how did it uh, actually affect uh, Wikipedia? So here on this figure, that is the average page length of those cities, uh, of the pages of those cities in different languages over time. And the green line is our treatment group, the black line is uh, the control group, and this uh, um, dashed line is the difference. So uh, our treatment was in 2014, in August 2014, and what we see that is a big jump in August uh, 2014. So that was our impact on the average page length uh, of those uh, pages. What we also looked at, uh, we uh, looked uh, at the quality of these pages. So we actually hired people to rate the quality of those pages over time. So here, um, we asked them to do it uh, using different criteria. Uh, so the first speaker measures the overall quality. And let us concentrate on these first two um, bars here. So the yellow bar is the control group, and the green bar is the treatment group. And these first two bars is during our treatment. So what these first two bars they measure is the change in the page quality during our treatment. And what we see is that, as expected, essentially nothing happens in the control group. Uh, we don't expect anything to happen during that time. Uh, we didn't do anything to the control group, but a lot happens in the treat treatment group. So treatment uh, in treatment group, the page quality increased a lot uh, during our treatment. And we are also looking at what happens afterwards. So actually, during the four years afterwards, uh, that is uh, some increase in the page quality, now both for uh, the control and treatment, but it is, uh, it is much lower than it was during our treatment. So this is what happened with the pages. But now let us look uh, at uh, uh, our results. So uh, what actually happened with the, uh, with the overnight uh, space. Uh, so I don't want uh, to uh, go too much into uh, the analysis here. Uh, so these are our regression results, but let me simply summarize it here that what we found was that uh, our treatment, it increased uh, the uh, hotel, uh, Night, mm, hotel nights, the number of hotel nights. Um, essentially, it increased uh, the number of hotel stays by tourists uh, about 9%. And uh, this effect was larger on the pages that were in initially small. So it was mostly concentrated on these pages uh, that were initially small. And um, that is uh, that is all what I wanted to say about uh, about our study. I uh, I welcome uh, all all questions and comments and suggestions, and I would also like to say that uh, uh, I continue to uh, work on uh, topics uh, related um, to Wikipedia. Uh, so uh, next week we are uh, launching a big survey to uh, study uh, how much people trust. Uh, Wikipedia compared to other sources, and we are also studying uh, topics like uh, paid editing uh, in uh, Wikipedia uh, by firms to promote their products. So if anyone has uh, uh, question comments uh, related to any of this uh, work, uh, please contact me. Uh, here is the information. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity to present this, and uh, please, if you have any questions, Thank you, Marit. Um, it, it's really interesting, and, and um, um, the paper you wrote got a lot of media attention, I saw. And, and uh, as you are economists, it's interesting 
I would have loved to see the reaction within the Wikimedia community around uh, when this was published, because you say, if we extend this to the entire tourism industry, the impact is large. Its impact could be in billions of euros. And, uh, and uh, we, uh, so it has a remarkable effect with these uh, small uh, additions. And uh, I, I know that it wasn't that well received within all countries. What happened in the Netherlands, for example? Right. So the, the reactions definitely were very different. Uh, so I know that, uh, um, for example, Italian uh, Wikimedia Foundation has uh, um, quite a bit uh, uh, invested time in promoting uh, um in getting the uh, local areas local municipalities on wikipedia and uh, they have uh, they have been very happy about our study and using that uh to uh, uh to ask the municipalities to uh be more active on uh, on uh, wikipedia that is very important in italy because of the copyright laws you essentially cannot uh, cannot publish any photos uh, of the local sites in wikipedia without uh, the local municipality specifically allowing it uh, uh but yes uh, indeed uh during our experiment uh the um Essentially, the uh, on Dutch Wikipedia, uh, we were deleted by a single editor. Uh, so all of our editions were right away deleted uh, by a single editor on Dutch uh, Wikipedia. Uh, we understand. Um, we understood afterwards. Uh, so we believe that the reason for that was that essentially a lot of our our translations they were done uh, by the uh, by people who did speak the language fluently but um, in Dutch Wikipedia they were uh, very much direct translations and uh, that resulted in a fact that what kind of seemed uh, very natural in Spanish wasn't any more natural in uh, in Dutch and essentially our material sounded like some kind of promotional material yeah. so um that was um we understood that that was the reasoning why our additions to dutch wikipedia were not welcomed hmm. but it's so interesting because you uh, the different backgrounds and the different worlds that meet and you conclude yourself that uh, our findings highlight the value of digital public goods for informing individual choices that's also what you highlight when you when you summarize this study. Um, are, are there any questions from the audience here or maybe online? No. Uh, no questions here. Would you like to add something? It's really a very interesting um, uh, research you have done, and uh, and I'm looking forward to the one you're doing right now as well. Sounds very interesting. Um. Thank you very much. 